Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to be talking about Andrew Yang, the burning of Notre Dame, and what Andrew Yang's reaction to the to this French trial would be if it had occurred during his presidency. All right, all right. So let's talk about it. All right. So uh, yesterday, uh, Notre Dame. Uh, a a world-famous French cathedral in France uh, burned. Like, the, you know, I think a very major significant portion of it just burned. There was a huge fire. Uh, it, it, it got international coverage. There was uh, exceptional mourning expressed on um, Twitter and Facebook and all the social media sites. And it is a significant French trial, right? The, the nation of France... Um, and the Catholic Church are going through a significant trial at this point, right? Because France owns Notre Dame, but uh, the Catholic Church has use of Notre, Notre Dame uh, in perpetuity. They get to use it forever, right? So it's co-owned by the French, um, by, by France, and by the Catholic Church, right? Um, literally millions and millions of people have uh, been to this to Notre Dame, uh, this this Gothic cathedral, this world famous Gothic cathedral, and um, and including my parents. My parents have seen it. Many of my friends have seen it. I have never in my life been outside the boundaries of the United States of America. Uh, I'm incredibly blessed. You know, I, I have two degrees. Uh, I'm, yeah, I've been married for 28 years. Uh, I've been commercially successful. You know, I have a lot of uh, things I'm proud of. I feel like I've achieved a lot in my life, but I am not a, a traveler. I'm not, actually, I'm, I am very much a domestic traveler. I've traveled quite a bit in the United States of America, but I am not an international traveler, right? And uh, I have to say, there's a great deal of sadness in my heart today because I don't think it would be possible for me to see Notre Dame in all its glory within my lifetime at this point. So I, I kind of, you know, um, I drug my feet on seeing Europe, and now I'll never see Notre Dame in the way that uh, many, many of my friends and even my parents and, and even my daughter, I'm pretty sure my daughter saw, saw Notre Dame when she went to France, right? So I never, I'll never be able to see that, and it, it, it is quite sad. It makes me quite sad. Excuse me. So it, this is a huge event, and I want to talk today about Andrew Yang. So, now, uh, well, before we get there, right now our president is Donald Trump, and so my hope is that Donald Trump and I, I kind of this is one of the reasons why I'm very excited to have Andrew Yang as president in uh, you know starting on January twentieth, twenty twenty one, is right now my greatest hope for the response of America to the burning of Notre Dame is that our president will not massively insult um, the French you know, the French at this time. Now, I'm definitely down for some international sparring. I don't have any problem with harsh words flying back and forth between the U.S. and France. We have a kind of a strained relationship, right? But when, when somebody's hurting, right, that's not the time for that stuff, right? But we have a president who really doesn't, you know, hesitate to sling harsh words whenever he wants, right? So I am genuinely hoping that the response from Donald Trump will be not to insult the French people at this time. All right. So what do I think the response of Andrew Yang would be if this trial were to occur during his presidency? So I'm going to move this event from yesterday to uh, January, February, March, March 20th of... Um, of 2021. So let's say this happens two months into the uh, into the presidency of Andrew Yang, right? What would his response be, right? Well, I think his response would have it would be it would be a three prong response, okay? So uh, and I'm going to use a mnemonic to remember all my points. So Rel the comedian uh, with a Mad Libs in one hand and an antihistamine laced pretzel in the other hand, sitting at an organ in a church in the state of Florida. All right, so let's go through that. That's my mnemonic. It'll help me remember each of my points. So the first the first response would be, would he offer aid um, economically 
or uh, visit France because that's generally both of those are diplomatic staples, right? You send some money, you go and you visit, right? Well, I think Andrew Yang would do neither one of those, and the reason why is appropriately. Appropriately, by the way, I think Andrew Yang's response to uh, to this trial would be an appropriate response at every single level, right? So everything I'm saying, I think, is what he should do and what he would do. Okay, so one, I don't think he would visit, and I don't think he would give any money, and the reason why is uh, one, this is a very personal trial. Like this is a trial specifically for the nation of France and for the Catholic Church, right? And I really don't think, you know, and while we can have sympathy and we can somewhat understand, um, you know, how deep this trial, you know, how deep the wounds of this trial will be, the reality is we, it, it really isn't our trial, right? And so, and the reality is, you know, France, we have had an incredibly strained relationship for easily, I think, since World War II. Now, since World War II, I think we've had a very strained relationship, and it's only gotten more strained recently, right? And and I think the Fran France looks at America, and they really don't like what they see, and they're not, they don't hesitate to say that on a regular basis, right? And so, uh, I think, you know, Andrew Yang would, would recognize we have a strained relationship and say, let's let them mourn in their own way, in their own time, right? So, he would not go. He would also not give financial aid, and the reason why is, one, the Catholic Church. So the Catholic Church right now is in the middle of creating a plan to fix the egregious problems they've had previously, and also do a nevermore implementation, like, so that these egregious issues that they've had will never, ever again happen with, under, under their auspice, right? And, you know, and I think right now, America giving money in large sums or even in any significant sums, the Catholic Church seems like it's just not a good time to do that, right? Now, once they're pat, once they get past that Nevermore plan, once they've fixed these egregious issues they've had, th then I think maybe we could do that, right? And then the other issue is, you know, France with, you know, us giving money to France. Well, the reality is France is a freestanding nation and they are not they are a developed nation, right? And so I think there would be a point of pride that they would they would fix this problem on their own, right? So I don't think there would be any money spent, and I don't think there would be any any visits, right? All right, so Rel holding a Mad Libs. So that one is religious liberty, right? So so right away, I think Andrew Yang would say, okay, I see I see this trial happening for France. What does that mean for America? What what should we think about in America, and what should we do in America, right? Well, one of the biggest things was, you know, um, Notre Dame is a religious edifice. And I think that would remind Andrew Yang immediately about religious liberty, about one of the greatest issues of our time right now, which is this, uh, this clash right now between religious liberty and intimate liberty, right? The intimate liberty is liberties that are concerned with how two people attach their bodies together, right? It's the, I'm trying to say that carefully, right? So intimate liberties right now very much clash with religious liberties. And people who want religious liberty often want the exact opposite of people who want intimate liberty. Now, intimate liberty has grown massively over the last 10 or 20 years, right? And and there's been huge uh, momentum for, for intimate liberty, right? And at the same time, religious liberty has been regressed, right? And so I think one of the things is, I think Andrew Yang would be reminded of the importance, especially when you think about Notre Dame and how beneficial Notre Dame is to the French nation. He would remember how, uh, how important religious liberties are to our nation and that we founded our nation for religious liberty. And I think it would, it would help Andrew Yang remember and think carefully, how do we do both? How do we... Uh, how do we make sure that the intimate liberties that have already been given, right, stand, you know, unless it, it, under, under the laws that they've been established on, under, but that there's no more regression and maybe even a fixing of regressions that have occurred against religious liberty, right? So I think that'd be the first thing. And so he would give that thought, and then I think he would, impl he would give direction to his administration to have laws restore religious liberties that should be restored or to make sure that no more religious religious liberties are lost 
right? And the balance is set right, right? Okay, all right. The other one is the antihistamine laced pretzel. That is historic preservation, right? So one of the things is Andrew, Andrew Yang. And so again, Andrew Yang would say, okay, French trial, how does America make America better? Right, like you know that 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 should be the focus. Like he's our president, right? And so he he's he's constantly looking at the world. He's yawing his perspective, right? And looking at the world, and saying, how do we make our nation better so that our people are better served, right? And I think what he would say is uh, is, is he I think he would move historic preservation forward. So one of the terrible terrible things with with Notre Dame burning. Right is just this, you know, this incredibly uh, valuable, incredibly inspiring achievement, uh, human achievement. So I think Notre Dame is a human achievement. Right, it has all this iconography. Uh, it forwarded, um, it forwarded architecture, uh, masonry, all these. You know, it, it allowed certain industries to progress. Right, so. He would, I think he would say, okay, it's important for us as an American, as, as Americans to highlight, right, and improve our historic preservation. So how does he do that, right? As a president, does he say, okay, well, let's give more money to historic preservation in the United States of America? No, absolutely not. That's, that's not the best path. And I think Andrew Yang, as our best president to come, right, he would recognize that, right? And so what would he do? Well, what he would do is he would choose one of the one of the hundreds of amazing, awesome historic preservation organizations that exist. I think he could pick like one or two and like one in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, come forward and say, "Tell me about the safety features that you have been." You know, would go, he'd have, you know, and he would he would just announce to the press, "I'm going to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm going to talk to the Historic Preservation Society in Lancaster." And I'm gonna and and then he would go and then he would say, "Tell me about your safety, uh, your safety regulations, and all the processes you use to make the the preservation of historic sites safe, right?" So he would expend no dollars, like make, increase no budgets, right, and just point to the already awesome work that's being done in America, and then. By highlighting the work of the of of the, the Lancaster Historic Preservation, it would remind Americans that they have historic preservation societies in their own backyard, and that they can volunteer for them, give them money, aid in their projects, right, and then allow, and then they would be allowed that they, they could allow themselves to move forward with these you know with these projects and to do great work that that would. Uh, you know, that would be really helpful for those specific, um, for those specific organizations and that the historic preservations that was happening within those specific, uh, areas that they would be improved, right? So that'd be like a no money solution that would aid the ongoing work that's already happening and then would make not only the historic preservation that happens in those local areas, um, continue, but to be done more safely, and then he would be using the power of the press, which would cover this event, to multiply his beneficial action. Right, and that that is a really solid way of doing it. The last thing is uh, is church and state. Okay, now what is absolutely fascinating about the religious edifice Notre Dame? Right, this Gothic cathedral that exists in France. Um, so, President Emmanuel, French President Emmanuel Macron, right? He has oversight over. He has oversight over that that religious edifice because France owns the land that it's on, right? And so they actually own that historic monument, right? That that religion, and it is both a historic monument and it's a religious edifice. It is used for religious rights, even today, right? And so one of the things I think Andrew Yang would realize and would really reflect on and then take action on, and I'll tell you the action he would take, is that while we have this abstract idea that church and state are separate, that is really quite abstract. The reality, the very literal reality, 
is that church and state are very much integrated, right? And we in our own nation, he would be reminded, we have a national, we have our own national cathedral. Like we have a, we have our own and presidents have been like sworn in there. We have our own national cathedral, right? And so I think one of the things that he, that he could do is right away go and visit our own na national cathedral and remind people that, you know, religion uh, has played an incredibly important role in America, right? And that while we have these somewhat bitter fights today between the secular world and the religious world, that in America, America owes a, an absolutely massive debt to, to religious communities, right? And that for, you know, 300 years, religious communities have been good at, at adopting or orphans and feeding, uh, you know, feeding the poor and creating um, these amazing hospitals and, um, and clothing people who needed clothes and collecting money uh, at the time of Christmas, right? And that, you know, and this would be a way to do some healing in the nation because I think recently there's been a lot of secular momentum and the religious organizations and the religious people of America have been very much pushed back, right? And so I think Andrew Yang would recognize this and not in any way, you know, say, uh, I want to lift up this particular denomination, but just by going to the National Cathedral, he could point back to this rich heritage of American um, benefits that have been gained by the religious organizations and the religious individuals within this nation. So, um, so again, like, so I think right now my, my deepest hope is that Donald Trump, like my, my greatest hope is that Donald Trump will simply not massively insult the French people during their time of trial. I really wish, you know, and this is one of the reasons why I'm just so excited to bring Andrew Yang in as president is, you know, it, we should be able to hope more for more from our president, right? But it's just not where we're at right now. And, uh, and that is what, and, and, you know, what I've just shared, that's what I think Andrew Yang would have done if this same trial, this exact same event had occurred on March 20th, 2021, a day which I am predicting now Andrew Yang will be our United States president. Uh, I will certainly be voting for that. And, uh, and I think this is how he would move forward and handle that specific event. Um, just going to say this last part, my, uh, my, my, my prayers go out to the, to the French people, uh, that they'll be able to restore this incredible historic monument, this incredible religious edifice. Um, yeah. And, uh, um, I just want to, you know, give my sympathies and my condolences for, for that loss to that nation. Right. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on what you think Andrew Yang would do. Uh, if this event, if this, if the burning of Notre Dame had occurred during his presidency, let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.